Ben Carson sat down for an interview with conservative radio host Mike Gallagher, and he trotted out the old right-wing argument that Democrats and the media manipulate black people to vote for liberals. So he said the following, quote, American blacks over the course of this next year will begin to see that they've been manipulated very, very largely. More and more, I'm finding, are thinking for themselves and are recognizing what really works for them and for their communities. I believe that it is a dynamic that is in the process of changing. One of the major things that is threatening our nation right now is divisiveness on all levels, gender, race, income, age, religion. They're driving wedges between people. We need a commander-in-chief who understands uh, and tries to promote our unity and not our divisions. All right, so that last part there was uh, in reference to Black Lives Matter. And when he keeps bringing it up, well, blacks have been manipulated. That's the problem. And more are waking up now. What he's saying is, well, they were voting Democratic, and now I see some black people are supporting me, so, you know, they're waking up. Okay, so there's a few things to respond to here. First, to the Black Lives Matter point. Black Lives Matter, they're pointing out systemic problems. They're pointing out problems that they have data to back up. So, when they call out racism, no, Ben, that's not contributing to racism. This is like a Rush Limbaugh argument he's using here. He's like, oh yeah, who are the real racists? It's the liberals because they want to talk about race. Yeah, but why are they talking about race? They're talking about race to call out racism. Only in the mind of the far right is calling out racism equal to racism. Because any conversation about race, by definition, as long as the liberals doing it, is racist. It's an amazing way that they've found in their own minds to flip the argument. I mean, they do the same thing with gay rights, where they say, you know, you're a bigot for not accepting my bigotry. You're a bigot uh, because you're telling me I shouldn't be anti-gay. No, you're the bigot because you want to stop gays from getting married. We're just calling out your bigotry. It's the same thing with race. We're calling out racism, and you're going, well, because you're calling out racism, you're really the racist, because you're the one who's, uh, you know, separating everybody by gender, race, income, age, religion, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Now, understand, guys, this is the same guy who just recently was talking about political correctness and the problem that... Uh, that comes about as a result of that because nobody tells the truth anymore. And Ben, I hate to break it to you, but we're not calling you out because we're offended and we're overly PC. We're calling you out on a lot of your statements because your statements are stupid. I mean, you're saying things that are untrue. You're saying things that are ridiculous, so we're firing back. But he can't take it. He can dish it, but he can't take it. So whenever anybody disagrees with him, oh, PC, politically correct crowd, stop it, stop it. And again, this specifically, I'm referring to the thing he said about Muslims, how a Muslim shouldn't be president. I never advocate for a Muslim to be president. Anyone as far as to say it's against the Constitution for a Muslim to be president, which is ridiculous. Of course, there's no religious test for office in this country. We're a secular nation. And then to the argument of, well, blacks have been manipulated all this time. You see what he's doing there, right? That's, a, that's another classic case of projection. Because who really tries to manipulate the African-American community in America? The Democratic Party, the Republican Party. 100% the Republican Party. What do they do to try to manipulate blacks? They go, well, pff, our policies might be totally against you, but hey, we're running a token black guy. Don't you want to vote for him? He's black. Isn't that enough for you people? Just vote for him. So you're the one manipulating people. Your entire campaign is one giant manipulation to try to tell black people, I know I'm a Republican and you don't like that, but vote, vote for me because I'm black. Because I'm black. Well... They're not going to. I mean, if there was ever, you know, perfect evidence, a lot of far-right people like to say, black people only vote based on race. That's why they voted for Obama. That's what a lot of people on the far-right like to say. If there was ever contrary evidence to that, it's the fact that Ben Carson, not very many black people like Ben Carson. Also, not very many black people like Alan Keyes. Remember Alan Keyes? Not very many black people liked Herman Cain. So in reality, is it black people that are v voting based on race? Fuck no! There's countless examples of black people where the black community was like, we don't like you, you're not advocating for the policies that we're in favor of. And that's what it really boils down to. Ben, the reason why black people historically have been voting more democratic for a while now is because the Democrats, simply put, have better policies. 
They have better policies for the middle class. They have better policies for the poor. They have better policies for minority communities. And they actually give a shit a little bit more. Now, that's not saying the Democrats are perfect. They're, of course, corrupt to a certain degree as well. And we need to try to fix that. We need to try to get the corruption out of both parties. But overwhelmingly, they focus on things that the black community is more in favor of. It's the Democratic Party that doesn't want to go to war nearly as much as the Democratic Party that's in favor of a social safety net and equal opportunity and education spending. That's why they're against Republicans. So you're just wrong when you say what you say about how they've been manipulated. The only person or the only group of people or party manipulating them, the Republicans.